93.1 The Fox. Louisville Rocks brought to you by Body Art Emporium. It's the dude here in studio. Being joined by a good friend of mine, Keith Wheatley from Lost in Eden. What's going on, man? How you doing, man? Doing well. Now, it's good, good. to have you back here. Uh, Thank you. You've gone a little bit of a different direction, I think, since the last time we talked with Lost in Eden. Fill everybody yeah. in on, on what's new with the band. Well, what's new is... Um I'm just still doing the album Black Balloon. Right. I'm, uh, it's it's been a long time coming. I've been talking about it for a while, and unfortunately, I've just been having a really difficult time finding people that are on the same page with me. And it's nothing against anybody in particular. It's just everybody has a different direction that they want to go in, and everybody has a different vision for where they see themselves. And I see myself in a particular place. They see themselves in a particular place. And it's just hard to find people that feel the way I feel about not only what I'm doing here, but just music in general. But uh, anyways, you know, so with that being said, I, I was talking to this guy that I've met out in uh, L.A. Um, over the Internet and his cousin plays for Fishbone. Right. His name is Norwood Fisher. And uh, anyways, I, he's played Norwood the demo and told him what I had going on about, what you know, my vision for what I've seen with the album Black Balloon and different things. And Norwood just wanted to put us out there in the studio. And he thought he was under the impression that I had a full band. He didn't know that I did all this stuff by myself. Right. You know, and which is great because I wanted people to think it's a band thing. But anyways, it, I thought it was going to hurt me. But in the long run, it actually kind of helped me because now he wants to help me record my album with him and his drummer. That is kick ass. Yeah. And I want to thank Danny Stringer from String Note Management uh, for helping me with that because it wasn't for him doing this for me. I, honestly, I think I'd probably be just hanging it up all together because it's like, you know, every time I get a lead or something, you know, something always happens to where I can't, you know, you know, get where I want to be with it. It's like, uh, it's almost like I felt like at times that God's just dangling this carrot in front of my right, face. Right, you know what I mean? Right. And as soon as I get ready to grab it, yeah. it gets pushed back a little further, you know? Yeah. And let me ask you, you about know? black balloon real yeah. quick. Uh, you, we've got a couple of songs that I think are going to be included on it. Maybe I, yes. And definitely. then what was the other one? I already forgot. Everything again, Everything again, yeah. which we play quite right. a bit here on uh, Louisville rocks. Yeah. Thank you for that. Too. Yeah. I mean, uh, how many uh, more songs do you have recorded? That, uh, that recorded, are, I've got a bunch of them recorded, but none of them are going to make the cut. Yeah. Um, you going to go out and rewrite the whole, yeah, the whole album? Yeah, more or less. Yeah, yeah there's, uh, there's a lot of different things on there. There's Some of it's got like a kind of reggae feel to it. There's mm-hmm. one in particular that I'm thinking of called I Don't Mind. And uh, But, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of different stuff on there. And some of it, is, like Maybe I is going to be re-recorded. Right. You know, I wanted to use the original recording because it's got my brother on there, Bub. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, he was the guy who had, you know, started this group with me. And uh, as I told you earlier, he actually passed away in December. And uh, it just crushed me, man. But anyways, I was hoping to be able to use it, but I can't get in the studio with the guy that I recorded with to ju- to edit the drums the way they need to be to actually yeah. be able to use it for them. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to re-record it from scratch. But So with him passing away, is that sort of the inspiration of moving out? To uh, and kind of you know like a yeah, restart. Yeah, it kind of is, man. I, I, I think I'd say it has a lot to do with a little bit of everything, you know, with just yeah. the not just him, but you know, there's a lot of people that I've known that's recently passed away. Uh, just Mark Sheets, you know, rest in peace, brother. He just passed away a couple of days ago, and and uh, that really touched a lot of people and affected a lot of people. And um, you know, my friend Bobby Lee, he's he's gone now. There's a lot of people, man, that's just died over the past few months. My grandmother, I mean, just a lot of different things. And just and from where I'm from in Clarksville, Indiana, I love the people there. There's a lot of great people there, but a lot a lot of them are just really lost. And um, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to be like this huge rock star so right. I can get all these women and all these. <laughs> hey, that's what I would things, do. You know? I, I would say that. A lot, I, would, I know I a lot of people that. say that, man. But I, you know. <laughs> it, 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 I just, I don't know. I'm in a different place in my life. I got two kids who I love dearly, Brianna and Gabriel. They mean the world to me. Yeah. And uh, I got a great girlfriend, Stacy Cox. And, uh, you know, I uh, just want to say hi to her. Just, just <laughs> case yeah, I catch yeah, any heat for that, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know. And I'm not moving away, moving away. I want to be clear about that. I'm yeah. just going there to record the album. And then once the album is recorded, we're going to find me a drummer and a bass player and whatever else I may need to go and open up for Fishbone on like a 20 to 25 city tour to kind of, you know, put it out there i guess in front of some people and very see good it opportunity does. it's a great opportunity i mean these guys are legends yeah now before you head out to california you yeah. have a show or two uh, lined up right yep i'm gonna be at the levee on the 30th of april uh, and you go on at what time uh 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. actually yeah and I, I think i'm gonna have a couple friends play with me i don't know but uh right well, underneath second street bridge by the way there you go i see you brought your guitar in here yes, with I you did. so yes, either you're gonna play a song for me or you're gonna give me the honky tonk man treatment and hit me over the head with it absolutely not man as cool as you've been to me dude i would never in a million years think 
tell you about that. Yeah, I'm actually going to play a, a song called Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. And that's, I'm going to dedicate that to all the people that ain't with us no more. Okay, very cool, man. I, th- I think I've heard that one before. Yeah, it's, it's, been on, <laughs> it's been on the radio once or twice, yeah. man. I think it was a small hit for me. All right, let's get you set up here. Yeah. So, so you think you can tell that heaven from hell, blue skies from pain, can you tell what we feel from a cold steel rail, the smile from a veil, and do you think you can tell? Did they get you to trade Your heroes for ghosts Hot ash for trees Hot air for the cool breeze Co cut to the change Did you exchange A walk on par for the war And the lead rolled in a cage job lost in eden that's keith wheatley uh you can check him out facebook.com slash lost in eden gonna be playing at the levee april 30th at 10 o'clock keith yeah. thanks for coming in man thanks man and again i want to say thanks to everybody that's had my back and been supportive of me and been pushing for me to succeed and been really behind me including you and mud and yep. everyone here at the fox and um 
Bubba, miss you, bro. I love you. Grandma, Bobby Lee, Mark, cousin Shane, everybody, mom, dad, brother, my sister. That song was for you guys. I love you guys and I miss you.